Today on Toy Shiz, we're having eggs over easy. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Hasbro. They were nice enough to send over this giant box, bring home the bounty, Star Wars. It's that weekly sitch that they got going on for the Mandalorian book of Boba Fett. So this was in the box. So thank you very much for that. So we'll have a, a look at them today. The Mandalorian and Grogu featuring the Arvala 7 decos. It's when he's all muddied up in that one particular episode. It's kind of where he discovers that uh, baby Grogu, baby Yoda can do the force powers situation. Really nice artwork always. I'll tell you, honestly, I think a two-pack featuring the Mudhorn and this version of uh, the Mandalorian would have been really, really cool because we need more monsters. Less about the people and more about the monsters, creatures, and uh, droids for Star Wars. It's kind of getting one-sided. And on the back side, of course... You get the artwork again, and somewhat of a bio. I really wish it pertained more to what's going on in this box instead of just a all-around kind of bio for the Mandalorian. Really could have said something to the effect of travel to Arvala 7, he goes after the egg, and the Jawas eat the egg after doing battle with a Mudhorn. You know what I mean? Something like that. A little bit more fun would have been uh, great. And here's the barcode as well. Now, these haven't started hitting store shelves just yet, but you can screen grab this and scan it in store for when they finally do start showing up. And like I said, yes, this is from that particular episode of The Mandalorian where, yeah, he goes up against the mud horn. He gets his butt handed to him, cracks up his armor a little bit, especially in the uh, front plates, and ends up killing the thing with the help of baby Grogu. So it's a fun episode. How much did I really need a muddied Mandalorian figure? We'll see, <laughs> to be honest with you, but uh, in either case, this is going to be fun, so sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Star Wars, the Black Series, the Mandalorian, and Grogu, featuring their Arvala 7 Mud Decos by Hasbro. And of course, here is everything taken out of the packaging, and up front, it's the exact same Mandalorian we have seen. He has a couple changes here and there. We do get somewhat of a new baby Grogu Yoda sort of deal. We'll just take a look, right? Well, there's no sense in uh, saying it. Let's show you. Yeah, baby Grogu comes in the pram. He's got his arms stretched out. His eyes are closed. So, yes, it does reenact that scene from that particular episode very well. I like all the deco that they got going on around the pram, and it comes with this clear plastic stand, so it looks like it's hovering around. Nice details overall. You can remove Grogu from that, and, yeah, you can see inside. Nice paint, nice deco. No problems with the pram, other than I wish it had the shell part to close it up. Now, baby Grogu... He does have some articulation in the head. This is kind of sort of the one we have seen before. You can see his feet on the bottom. Eyes are closed. Ton of white hair on the top of his head. Maybe a little bit too much. We're just saying. Very, uh, very distracting. And uh, you get this. I think the best part about this set. You get the mud horn egg. That is to me. You know, I think about with all the, the catchphrases from Star Wars. It opens up. Like the Jawa just like filleted open with his Jawa machete. And yeah, you could pull out all the suka. You know what I mean? That's awesome. I wish it had more yolk or something to kind of boil over. Like he could have a Jawa pull it all out. I don't know. There's extra stuff like that makes it come alive. But yeah, you got the Mandalorian. He's covered and caked in mud. It's really just paint. I really wish they could have had sculpted mud and such. Now the chest piece is a little bit different. You get to see all the circuitry busted up. And that's cool. But then, I mean, he doesn't really get too busted up everywhere else, but he does have caked mud. And like I said, it's mostly just paint as opposed to sculpt. You have this really nice weapon of his. It's really done nice. It's got some great paint, great deco on it. So no complaints there. You can also pull out his side holster. He's got the gun inside that. I like that that closes up. Very simplistic, nice silver, nice brown handle. And it does the trick as far as the gun and slipping it into his hand. And he poses nicely. It's the same exact articulation. Overall, yes, it's the same figure. You have to ask yourself, do you need a muddied up Mandalorian? Well, sure, if you're a big fan of the Mandalorian, right? Here he is compared to the very first Mandalorian figure. I have a lot of Mandalorians. I hadn't 
realize until I really started uh, looking at this guy. So yeah, it's the same exact one, just basically muddy him up and uh, put a different uh, chest plate on him. And then on the back, you can see the gun has a little bit of a paint deco to it. I would say the muddier one has a bit more of a brownish handle to match him. So yeah, it's kind of carrying forth. And then you have the Beskar armor or just how the Mandalorian looks now. Again, swip, swap pieces here and there, but it's largely the same figure with, of course, a different paint job. And then you have all three of these put together. Do I need more Mandalorians? Do I need the Ice Spider Mandalorian? I don't know. Maybe. Kind of want it more for the Ice Spider. That was another... See, all the creature episodes is really what I gravitate towards. I think that that was another awesome episode. But uh, in terms of the Pramage... For Baby Yoda, you can see like version one, version two. It's basically the same Baby Grogu figure. It's just one eyes are open, one eyes are closed. Maybe a little bit more paint on one, maybe a little bit less paint here and there. Both have got the feet on the bottom. So depends. I kind of like the eyes closed one in fitting with the totality of what they're trying to do with this Arvala episode pack. So in that sense, yeah, I think they definitely nailed it in terms of Baby Grogu. And then you have the standard release that came in that really teeny tiny Black Series box. Yeah, you get the idea. And I really like how this pram had the closure. I think that's one thing that's missing from the new one. That would have been cool just to be able to do. Here he is lined up with, say, one of my favorite Black Series Darth Vader figures. And of course, the new Boba Fett figure. New Book of Boba Fett merchandise is severely lacking in store shelves. I like watching new shows and having the figures. That's that's really a fun thing to do. And then you have all the, the horrible little rat people known as Jawas. They are just jerks, those uh, scavengers. You can have the power of the force with the egg or a Jawa Black Series. You can have the off-world Jawa, which basically, yeah, that's what cuts open the egg. Would have been nice to have like a machete or something like that. Something for the Mandalorian. I would have preferred to have maybe a blast of fire, a hook shot, something like that, other than having Baby Yoda again. Honestly, I would have liked to have had a Mandalorian, Mudhorn, and a Baby Yoda pack. That would have been uh, very, very cool. But in all honesty, and looking at the totality of the pack, you get the Mudhorn, you get the muddied Mandalorian, you get all his guns, you get the force concentrated baby yoda in the pram so it's actually a really nice pack the egg is my favorite part but you really gotta ask yourself is a muddied up mandalorian from one particular episode worth grabbing it's a great figure it's a great pack i will say that but that's really the only thing how many mandalorians is uh, too many mandalorians more effect pieces more gadgets, more gizmos would have been top-notch, more in my realm, to be honest. And then, yes, to have it packed with the Mudhorn, that would have been top-notch. Perhaps we will see the Mudhorn. If anything, maybe a base or something to really kind of put him more into that world. Because without the Mudhorn, you kind of just have the Mandalorian. He kind of barely is able to hold the egg, too. Extra hands. Would have been nice in this case. It, it's nitpicking, of course, but uh, little things here and there really would have amplified this other than just, yeah, it's cool. You know what I mean? So thank you again to Hasbro for sending this over, and thanks again for that big old box of bounty. And I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Star Wars, the Black Series, the Arvala 7. And what do you think about the book of Boba Fett so far, that last episode with the uh, Reavers Neutrinos? Whoa, God. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, a little bit more mud cakeage. That would have really brought out the fact of uh, he's, he's caked in mud. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.